what is going on you guys my name is Miguel you're watching boost and red line and today uh, we're testing out the GoPro camera here and uh, we're kind of trying out a different angle um, so welcome once again to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe and you're in for a treat because today I'm actually returning this uh, this Honda here dropping it off and uh, so you've probably seen some other videos in the channel by now uh, I've been able to get quite a bit of footage out of it as a matter of fact and uh, now I actually wanted to talk a little bit about why Hondas get so much hate out of all the manufacturers out there out of all the you know makes and models and whatnot you have Honda stands and is standing out as one of the top brands manufacturers that gets the most hate for one reason or another for good or for worse let's go over them let's break it down some of the reasons why Honda's Civics get so much hate and that's starting right now all right so one of the main reasons why Honda's get so much hate is the fact that most Honda's are front-wheel drive or as most people refer to them front-wheel drive but you know there's a number of reasons why Honda sticks with front-wheel drive for the most part of course you have anomalies like the S2000 and the NSX uh, those are more sports cars but for the most part and all the other cars Honda has been um, you know uh, very well known for being a front-wheel drive uh, powertrain and you're always gonna see people either hate it or love it to death uh, for the most part let's be honest you know at least most of the car guys they started at one point or another with a Honda some type you know Hondas are cheap let's let's you know address the elephant in the room and they're very affordable of course so chances are if you drove a car to high school or one of your first second car whatever was probably a Honda or an Acura of some sort and um, you know most people they have you know actually developed uh, a liking for a front wheel drive they, they like certain applications with it um, you know they could do and you know you either love it or hate it but for the most part that's one of the things that you'll see a real wheel drive people the most pick on Honda's for and uh, you know to a certain degree all wheel drive folks too uh, pick on Honda's for up on the list we have the almighty all powerful all horsepower given Farcan so with the Farcan of course that is one of the most horrible upgrades you can do to a car especially very well known on the Honda community for one reason or another it is very cheap to go on a eBay screen and uh, get a discounted muffler pretend you're doing a very hefty modification to your car and strap on a park hand to your Honda now most Hondas get a lot of hate because they actually do this the wrong way you know you'll see car guys put a fart can on the cars thinking they're doing you know the best modifications they're not worried about you know the engine they're not worried about the transmission they're not worried about the suspension they're not worried about tune they're not worried about you know enforced induction they're not worried about any of these things instead they just drop on a four can in there and they believe that makes all the difference now I'll be honest with you you take me back maybe like eight years I had a 1994 Toyota Corolla and guess what it had a good old four can on there and to add insult to injury it also had a uh, automatic transmission so even worse but don't be that guy I definitely learned my lesson the right way and um, you know definitely educated myself quite a bit more to know better these days so uh, don't be that guy please just don't and of course with the far can comes along the term ricer and you've probably heard of that term uh, a time or two if you've gotten involved in some type of car community of some sort and uh, you know because of how affordable they are you know of course you don't see that many people being ricers to Lamborghinis and Ferraris because they obviously cost uh, much more money but Hondas are so affordable most people that get their hands on it as their first car and can afford other manufacturers or other brands uh, you know they tend to go for uh, modifications that are unnecessary I'm talking about you know crazy body kits I'm talking about crazy paint jobs crazy rims you know, things that are out of proportion things that don't add to the functionality or performance it's just vicious looks and uh, just you know lack of taste for wanting your car to be an actual performance instead just kind of a show make me laugh 
laugh type of deal, please don't be that guy. Please don't be that guy. If you're gonna, you know, if, if you're seriously gonna you know, stick around with your Honda, embrace it. You know, do something cool with it. Uh, do all performance oriented parts. You know, do your research. Go on the forums and uh, find out what are some of the best parts, the best performance you can get out of your car, uh, your Honda, whatever engine it has on there. If you're gonna do a swap, whatever it is you're gonna do, make sure you do it right. Please, don't be that guy and don't rice out your Honda. I'm looking at you, you're out there somewhere. Don't be that guy. All right, so next up we have the low life, right? So overall, one of the biggest upgrades you can do to your car is uh, you know, work on the suspension. Normally a car that has had a lower suspension tends to make for better acceleration. You don't have the front end kicking up you know, when you take up the line and things like that, cornering and everything else. Uh, you know, obviously it's enhanced with a very good aftermarket suspension. Now, one of the reasons the Hondas get a lot of hate is because of the low life. You know, when you go from the point where your car isn't just lower to increase performance or to handle better, but it's actually scraping constantly every single second, no matter how where you drive, it could be the most even surface on earth your car scraping you probably have an issue your car is probably way too low please don't be that guy if you're gonna do it do it right if your car's gonna be a show car then definitely make sure to go for perhaps an airbag suspension something like that that can be adjustable but if you're gonna have a permanent suspension something that is fixed all right make sure you make it to it's a comfortable height for your car proper something recommendable something that would actually allow you to get the best performance out of your car instead of making the drive worse because then obviously you're not really being able to drive your car you're basically just avoiding potholes and avoiding uh you know different things here and there so please don't be that guy if you're gonna make a road uh if you're gonna make a show car by all means go for it i love low cars I'm not gonna lie but think performance a little bit before you you know go ahead and slam your ride don't be that guy now of course in every car community you're gonna find your muscle car guys your drifting guys tuner guys hot rod whatever you know you name it but the thing about hondas is you know they have a very very fierce um, fan base you know people who are honda fans i'm talking about the diehard honda fans they're gonna try to convince you left and right from every angle how hondas are the best car ever made and obviously you know honda has a lot of great engineering VTEC is a very you know exciting technology to use i've owned i've owned plenty of hondas so i have had my fair share of experience with that now you know because of hondas being so cheap to build it, you know the who actually end up doing some modifications to them they end up actually getting adjusted to oh this is some rough terrain here all right so they get adjusted to uh, you know being able to build something they're familiar with they get adjusted to being able to build something that is low budget and for the most part building a Honda is a lot more affordable than perhaps building you know or tuning uh, upgrading uh, modding other manufacturers if you're a diehard Honda fan Please don't be that guy to you know try to rub it in everybody else's face that Hondas are the best, that Hondas are the you know best machine that ever existed. Please, Honda is one approach to automobile. There's many other different manufacturers out there that do a fine job into the approach of transportation from their own perspective. So learn to appreciate a little bit about what other cars uh, you know have to bring and you know other manufacturers bring to the Another thing people actually hate Hondas for a lot is they tend to associate Hondas with youth. Normally, uh, you know, because of how easy it is to a young adolescent to get their hands on a Honda, you know, maybe a grand or two, three grand, uh, good, you know, reliable car, uh, you know, from going from point A to point B and doing so many different things. It's definitely a budget car you can beat on and it will run forever if you of course maintain it so a lot of people actually tend to hate hondas just because they associate it with youth they just think there are kids behind the wheel and if you drive a honda you must be a teenager and uh you know if 
you have a if you have a passion for Hondas, then you're probably not a real man because real men drive real cars and this and that. The truth of the matter is, no matter what car you drive, it does not change your gender. And in all honesty, younger people are the ones that drive Hondas the most. But does that mean you gotta hate Hondas just because you know younger people are the ones that drive them the most? Does that mean they're kids? If you drive a Honda, does that mean you're a child? Absolutely not. Let none of that nonsense go through your head. Um, you know, you can be a very serious, I actually know a lot of people that pour their souls into their Hondas and they are some of the finest machines I've seen. So, I mean, if you're gonna hate, have some common sense, please. At least have some common sense. Uh, I don't know, it's, you, you can't you can download that, you know, in the internet nowadays. You, you can't find that in, uh, you know, Instagram somewhere. It's something that you're supposed to have. It's common sense, all right? And uh, if you're gonna hate, just, you know, at least know the difference between one thing and the other, all right, please. Last but not least, let's talk about why Hondas get the most hate, and that is probably perhaps they're very, very underestimated. Most people think Hondas are very slow. Some of the engines from the factory, like this 1.6, is as slow as can be, but let that not surprise you or don't ever underestimate your opponent. Why? Because you can just type into YouTube here and see many, many videos of very, very well-built, number one, Hondas, uh, Hondas that have you know a lot of different bolt-ons, different setups. Some are all engine, uh, naturally aspirated. Some other ones are turbo, they're boosted, so on and so on. I could go on for days, but long story short, the truth of the matter is, no matter what type of car you drive, whether it be a muscle car, whether it be uh, a high-end car, a uh, rear-wheel drive car, all-wheel drive car, there is a possibility that you may get beat by a Honda. All right, just like that. Whether you like it or not, there is probably a Honda owner out there that has done everything on his car the right way, and you'll probably meet him out in Mexico somewhere and find out that his car has everything it takes to smoke your car. All right, you guys, so there you have it. Those are some of the reasons why Hondas get so much hate. Let me know in the comments below what are some of the other reasons you guys believe uh, Hondas get so much hate across the board in the car enthusiast world. Also, uh, you know, let me know what you think about some of the reasons I pointed out um, that people actually hate Hondas. Let me know if you like this type of video. Give me some suggestions also on what other type of videos you would like to see. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe, you guys. It makes a huge difference so I can bring these videos to you. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. Give me some suggestions down below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me. Really hope you guys like this video. Like always, take care. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. All right, guys, as you can see, we have the assistance today of the professional camera woman behind the scene here, Angeline Garcia. Nonetheless, put your hands together for this top talent here future teacher of tomorrow and uh, she also loves cars right and she loves painting and designing them and uh, she's very artistic as well so she wants to start a YouTube channel soon so you'll be seeing more from her here coming up the future years okay so you have to wait a little bit okay <laughs> <laughs> hello I am Angeline the cop pilot and we are having a little flight on wheels and on the fastest car ever. My big brother, my big brother's having a little flight on wheels. There she is. I haven't seen her in about two weeks now. But I'm just so excited to have my truck back. Look at that. There she is in her full beauty. I'm excited to take her home. I've been away from her for way too long. Taking you home today.